This week on Common Grounds TV. We fire a gun, we fire even bigger guns, and a crazy man ruins our interview. This is Shot for Shot. Standing beside me is Rob Eng. He's an IPSEC shooter. He's going to test the effects of caffeine on his system today by shooting with no caffeine in his system and then let us load him full of espresso and see what the effects are. How are you feeling? Looking forward to it. Let's load him up. So, Rob, how are we shooting today? Oh, we had one go high. With that little guy? Just that little guy, yeah. I wouldn't worry about that little guy. No, I'm happy with that. Good warm up. So this zombie is dead. The zombie is dead uh, again. Good. Let's uh, let's load you full of espresso. Yes, yeah, so let's get some heat. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got some coffee from Montreal today. Toi et moi. Uh, shout out to Savan. And in order to expedite the consumption of caffeine, the uh, Uptake, we're just going to go straight to uh, shots. So Rob, you've had what, four shots of espresso? Four shots. Doing good? <laughs> yeah, doing great. I understand you've been awake for a while. Yeah, 20 some hours now. And how are you feeling now? Uh, more awake right now than I did when I got up. So you willing to take a shot at our mantra over here? I think so. Aim for the X? Absolutely, that should be uh, easy to do. What are we shooting with today? Shooting a CZ Shadow from Reliable Guns in Vancouver. It's made in the Czech Republic. Nine millimeter, shooting 147 grain bullets from Montreal, from CamPro, supplied by John Parsons of Custom Reloading Services. And I'm using a Blade Peck dropped offset holster from DS Tactical in New Westminster. Fantastic. So uh, Rob, after a decent uh, dose of espresso, how do you feel about your shooting today? Uh, after those four shots, uh, I definitely felt like I was able to see what I needed to see faster. Uh, the first series of shots that we took, I had a hard time grabbing the, the front sight, which is what dictates how fast I can shoot, is how fast I can see my front sight. Okay. After those four, now I'm just a little bit buzzed. <laughs> how, how about accuracy? What do you think? My accuracy was good. Uh, as I sped up, opened up a little bit, which is to be expected. but. Uh, Punched the center out of the X pretty good there. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. You know. Nice. Very nice. How All about right. some more coffee? Let's do some more coffee. <laughs> so we're going to switch firearms now? Yeah, we're going to go to the 50 caliber Desert Eagle. Slightly larger than the 9 mil that we were shooting before. And uh, we'll see what that does to the coffee can. Next up. Grocery store espresso.
name of uh, Excess, uh, what are we on to now? Uh, we're now going on to a uh, Colt AR-15, uh, my version basically of uh, the M4 that the American forces are using, the C8 the Canadian forces are using. A little bit different. 223 semi-automatic rifle. The military, of course, has the select fire full auto version of this. We do not have today. Unfortunately. Uh, and continuing the theme of excess, we are shooting at, the, I think, the largest caffeinated beverage you can buy. Yes. Uh, 30 ounce from the uh, Green Giant once again. And uh, Rob's going to show us what he thinks of it. How are we feeling after countless shots of espresso? I'm feeling really good. Wide awake. Wide awake. Do you feel like it helped or hindered? I feel like it helped, considering how tired I was uh, at the beginning. Uh, more than 20 hours straight with no sleep, and uh, definitely felt that it helped. It didn't make you shake too bad. No shakes yet, other than from the cold. Fair enough. Well, great. That's awesome, Rob. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Most of the time when shooting documentary style, the segments go as planned. Sometimes you'll have a man named Forrest hijack your interview. So Nelson seems like the coffee town. For yeah, the it is a coffee town for the communities. Like everybody here loves it. I mean, it's, it's you know, the coffee town, I'd say, actually. Honestly, I think. You can get Oso beans other places, but it's not made the same way. You know, lots of people make your coffee the way you want it in this town. It's not just like, here's your coffee, done the way that it's, it's supposed to be done. You know, it's the coffee that you wanted, you know, instead of just a coffee. We were talking to our audience from, say, Toronto. How do you describe Nelson? Like, no one had an idea what it was like. I would describe it as a... Um... A bridging neo hippie modern town. I, I, I refer to neo hippies as like the the um, the commercialized hippie. You know, the, the person who wears the kind of the, 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 that that look. You know, not just not just like the outfit, but that look. And they know? paid for. It. Yeah, and they paid for that lifestyle. Yeah. You know? I know what you mean. It, we're, you know, a lot of people here do come from Alberta and the States, and a lot of people come for just to to get away and to have this lifestyle. You know, a lot of people come here because it's it's a place away from everything else. And it's something that you kind of discover when you're traveling, and then you come back here and you're like, hey, I was here before. And it's kind of that town where you're like, it's the, the quintessential nook away from all the nooks. You know? Yeah. Looking at your menu, what's a dandelion? A dandelion tea is a coffee substitute made with uh, dandelion root. And uh, it, I've, I've had it before, and it's an okay substitute. Is there caffeine in it? No, it just... no, it's just okay. pure dandelion. And affogato? Uh, oh, really, really tasty. It's uh, uh, Italian ice cream uh, put inside of coffee. Yeah. Super <laughs> dope. That sounds really sick. Really addictive though, like you can really start to hurt your liquor after a while. And just the hippie thing, like it's developed hippies. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's no longer this. Yeah. Like this, that's cool, thank you very much. Yeah. But now it's 2011, so there, there's separation there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now it's 2011, the opening of the heart. So it's like, dude, peace. This is where we're at. Yeah. And it's like, Nelson. Mm -hmm. It's the whole world. Yeah. This is a vortex. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Very cool. We appreciate the time, guys. Mm. Yeah, yeah no problem. Thank you very much. Like, Cheers. It's a great opportunity. Hey, thank you. Nick. Forrest. Yeah. All right, we'll see you again. Yeah.